So to prepare the tartare of Cornish mackerel, first we fill it, the mackerel, very carefully. The secret of this dish is freshness and speed. It's something you can prepare a little bit in advance and then mix just before you serve it. Take out the bones. Take the belly away. And a great way to take these pin bones out, if you run your finger down there, you can feel these pin bones. Something I didn't know till recently, I was shown by a fisherman's wife, was just to cut a V either side of the bones and they'll come out in one easy slice and we remove all the pin bones. After five minutes in the fridge, we'll remove the fillets, dice, probably in half centimetre uh, size. Put this into a chilled stainless steel bowl. We add half a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, half a tablespoon of light soy, a few drops of uh, lime juice, a pinch of seasoning, a little salt, a little pepper. We give this a stir, a few drops of olive oil, and again, this goes back into the fridge. We prepare it to that point, no more than five to 10 minutes before we're actually gonna serve it. And this is a nice chef's touch where we're going to make a fan of cucumber around the base of the tartar. We take the uh, mackerel, from the fridge, where well, that's been for about five to ten minutes, and it's started to firm up now. I can see that it's started to, to react with the acid, virtually cooking itself. So I'm just going to check this for seasoning. Beautiful. So we take a small cutter onto the cucumber, and we need to press the flesh against the side of the bowl just to release the juices now. We're going to carefully fill, carefully fill the mould. Once it's packed, you just firm it down with the back of a spoon. Put the quail egg on top of the tartar. You can arrange some nice herbs around it, some baby leaves, some pea shoots on top. Carefully lift off the uh, cutter. And then you'll see in the bowl you have your juices, add a little olive oil to form a dressing, and then simply spoon this over the top of the tartar, around the plate, give the chef's sort of drizzle around the plate, and there you have your uh, tartar of Cornish mackerel.